Welcome back to Switch to Linux. It is another Wednesday live show. You can catch the live show 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, uh, Wednesdays. So today we're going to have a look at Linux Mint 19 Terra, and we're going to look at the Mate version today. Of course, I did a top five improvements to Linux Mint Cinnamon on Monday, and yesterday I looked at uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon as an overview. So today we're going to do a brief overview of Linux Mint Mate. And so let's go ahead and have a quick look. So from their blog post release, uh, new features. I've not read this blog post yet, so let's just have a look. Um, so we have a lot of different improvements. Uh, there's there's several um, uh, several basic improvements to the system. Obviously, we're based on 18, uh, Ubuntu 18.04. For those curious, it does not have the data collection that Ubuntu has. Uh, system resources are a little bit lower than if you are if you want to use Linux Mint, but you have a lower spec computer. You might think about either the Mate or the XFCE branches. It requires about half as much RAM. Um, and you can see the gigabytes, uh, uh, 15 gigabytes of disk space, and at least a 10, uh, 1024 resolution. Um, you, they do still have the 32-bit ISO, which is good, and there will be some update um, upgrade paths to go from it, and they will be published when the stable release of this is out. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, boot this guy up, and then we're going to have a look at what it looks like. Okay, so I've installed this in a virtual box. I installed it. I didn't do anything else with it. I barely looked at it. Uh, so the virtual box has four cores, six gigs of RAM, 200 um, megabyte, 256 megabytes of video RAM running in it. And it should load full screen. Yes, it looks like it's going to load up full screen. We do have the same wallpaper background that we had in Linux Mint Cinnamon. And of course, we are welcomed with the uh, welcome screen, which looks the same as it did over there. We can see that though we are in the Mate 64. They do have this set up very much like uh, a Windows computer if you're used to that. We do have the Mate menu that is searchable. So if you do want a searchable menu, you have that. And of course, our system monitor shows that we are running on half the RAM as Cinnamon does right out of the box when you open it up. So once again, if you have a lower spec machine, uh, you probably want to look at running the Mate rather than the Cinnamon. I personally prefer the Cinnamon. Uh, there is another uh, either advantage or disadvantage for you depending on what it is. Uh, they do not have the online account option in Mate since that is actually something attached to GNOME, which Cinnamon is based on. So if you do not want to be attaching any online accounts, uh, Mate does not have that functionality. If you would like to attach and sync your online accounts for uh, calendars, contacts, files, things like that, you probably want to use the Cinnamon because that has the online accounts. I'm pretty sure XFCE will not have that either. Um, but regardless, let's go ahead and walk through this. So in your first steps here in your welcome screen, we'll walk you through the things you want to do. Uh, the first is they want you to launch Time Machine. So Time Machine is a system that gets you essentially the same thing as, um, as your uh, Windows Restore. Uh, so Mint is really making some strides to bring a lot of the functionality that, uh, that people are used to in Windows, like those Restore Points. Of course, uh, some people will say, um, make sure that you want to research how to restore your system in the event it doesn't boot into the GUI. That's a possibility if something goes crazy. But if you have Time Shift installed, um, you can actually restore files. You will need to look up instructions for doing that. Um, but you can go ahead and uh, set this guy up. You can set it up to keep you know monthly, weekly, daily snapshots, however you want to run it. And then basically what it's going to do is it's going to create a, a restore point for your system files. Now this does not get your regular backup files, it just gets your system files. But if you are needing something to back up your personal files, you can grab from the new backup tool, you can get your personal data 
basically anything in your home directory, and it has software selection as well. One of the things though you want to do in here as you're loading up the backup tool is it does not by default take the hidden system files, which means that if you are wanting backups of configuration files for your installed software, you need to make sure that you enable that. I actually have a video about how to do that. So um, I'll go ahead and list that. Uh, I'll go ahead and put that in the cards here. Um, but regardless, once your time shift is set up, the next thing it wants you to do is look at the driver manager. This is going to look to see if there's any proprietary drivers that you could install on your system in the event you want to. Uh, some people may want to do that. Some people prefer not to do that. So that's one of those things that you need to keep in mind is do you want to do that if you're having issues, for example, with a video card or, or sound or oftentimes a Broadcom modem, you might have that issue. So you'll see in here anything that you could install if you wanted to. And then of course, next is the update manager. This has changed and it no longer asks you the type of updates that you want. Um, and it's going to by default select all of the updates the first time it runs. And uh, it is going to rely on your time shift to restore back if it happens to mess something up. So definitely keep in mind if, that there could be things that um, there could be things that, that you may not want to install. By default, now it's going to install everything. So be aware of that. And of course, the kernel, uh, Linux kernels, is, is still the same. I think this ships with 4.15. Yep, so 4.15.0-20 4, 4 is the kernel that we have. And then, of course, we have our system settings and our software manager. This video is feeling a whole lot like my cinnamon video, if you saw that. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, that's okay. We can we can work with that. Of course, the control center in um, in Mate is different than it is in Cinnamon. You will notice that they do not have the online accounts. Uh, we do have our uh, we do have our differences of appearances. You can see what all the different options are here. Here is our backgrounds. So there's actually some pretty cool ones. This one was actually a user submitted background. It's pretty cool. Let me move this stuff out of the way if I can here. All right, kind of see what that background looks like. That's pretty cool. So there's a lot of cool backgrounds. There's some, some older backgrounds you'd be used to, a few of them. Of course, there's a, a few newer ones as well. I think this one's a newer one. All right. So of course the uh, we're not going to go through all the settings. This is essentially the Mate settings. So if you're used to Mate, you can look that up. If you're not, I actually have other videos that go through all of that. Uh, the software manager, though, this is um, this is the Linux Mint software manager, and this is really nice. They've added some nice, um, just some nice transitions. So you know, as you transition back and forth between things, that'll work. We have Flatpak. Um, a flat pack right out of the um, right out of the box so that will lead to some potential confusing things and that you may have a Kden live for example from the repository and one from Flathub take note of that if you're looking to install software just be aware if you want to specifically go for the flat hubs you got it if you want to specifically go for the repositories you got that as well and then of course they have their nice editors pick so you can you know install a lot of different software here out of the box. All right. <clears throat> so as far as everything installed, we've already had a look at the the theming and the menu. This is the menu with the search functionality. That's something a lot of people do ask for, so they give you that out of the box. We have our various places, we have our system over here. So if you quickly want to get something into the control panel, you have it over there. Um, here's our package manager. Okay, so that's going to load up Synaptic. And then Software Manager. We have all of our various applications. Here's our preferences. Here's our administration. And then everything else is, is what we would expect. Uh, the Office Suite should be the latest uh, from LibreOffice, LibreOffice 6. Actually, I don't know if it's the absolute latest 6. Let's have a look at that. Uh, spelling checker and the synonym checker should be there. So this is 6.0.3.2. It still is using um, 
GIMP 2.8. That's because that's the core of what is in Ubuntu 18.04. You can install 2.10 if you want. Um, that's actually probably something I'm going to do um, because I want to do some, some more advanced stuff with GIMP. Uh, and I want to do it with the latest version, so we're going to be doing some of that. Everything else is what we'd expect. We have Firefox installed, Thunderbird as our email client, which is such a relief. Some of these uh, systems are using some of the you know crappier, lighter webmail clients that have very little functionality. I'm not a fan of those, uh, so it's good to have those. And everything else is is pretty much what we would expect. So we've already looked at the. Uh, we've already looked at the um, uh, the system use. It uses about half the, the RAM as does uh, Cinnamon. So if you are looking for something a little bit lighter, uh, you can do that. Everything else is is Mate. I mean, it's, it's good, it's clean, it's simple, and uh, there are actually a variety of different themes you can do. Let's just go ahead and have a look at some of the other themes we have here. Kitty wants a scratch. Hold on. <laughs> All right, so here's our um, Mint X, and then of course we have our, our Aquas, our Blues. We have a variety of different colorations there. Uh, some of the new ones, we have the Mint Y theme here. So this guy here is a little bit flatter of a theme, and of course we have the Mint Y Dark and the Mint Y Darker themes. Let's see what the dark looks like with the menu. You go. If you want something dark, you can do that. Of course, you can customize things as well. Here's your window borders. See the variety of window borders that we have. As far as your icons, we have you know some of our old classic icons, um, and then of course we have this new icon pack, which isn't my favorite type of icon pack, but it works pretty well. I, I actually like them. And then we have two different pointer options there installed. All right. We've already looked at our backgrounds, our fonts, there's our interface. So that is just about it. Uh, so that is Linux Mint Mate 19, very much like the Cinnamon build. Uh, just run, of course runs Mate, a little bit lighter than the Cinnamon. Um, it doesn't have quite as many of the modern features uh, and functionality that I like in my distro, so I still prefer Cinnamon. That's actually why I run it. I do actually run Linux Mint Mate on my uh, backup computer. Um, that's actually one of the ones that I run over there. So uh, that's my take on that. So what do you think of Linux Mint 19 Terra? Leave your comments down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Switched to Linux. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the links at the top. There is another video over here. You can check out our Patreon page down here. And you can check out shop.switchtolinux.com for information on a t-shirt like this or some other designs. Thanks for watching and hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.